Welcome to News Channel 9 on stage at Riverbend. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. We are so excited to be bringing you yeah. live here on the Coke stage where the headliners perform. Right. We are seeing the view they see when they bring you their beloved music here every night at 9 o'clock on the Riverbend Festival. And a lot of great acts throughout the week. The, the next you know, week and a few, few days, as a matter of fact, we'll get more to that as the show goes on. A lot to talk about in this show. That's right. We've got so much to show you. We're going to take you on the boat that we actually are. goes and picks up the headliners, brings them here to the back of the stage, and we're going to show you things that only VIPs get That's to That's right. See. We've, we've got the food, we've got the art, we're going to taste some food as well. That's bacon on a stick standing by as we speak. And not just bacon on a stick, we got bacon, we got chocolate on it. You don't want to miss that. No. Yeah, yeah. What we now know as Riverbend began 32 years ago. That's right, but it didn't always bear the name that we all know and love. Here's News Channel 9's Jerry Askin. Riverbend's, you know, grown up to be kind of a, a, a music festival for everyone. It's what we call Chattanooga's family reunion. 1982 was the first year, but we had tickets that year. And then the next year we did pins. Janine Alday has a towel full of pins, proving she's been to every Riverbend festival. But this year, the pins are no more. Event goers will have to have a wristband to enter. Janine was the chair of the festival back in 1986, but she's been around since the beginning. We invited the community to the first festival in Chattanooga and we had no idea if anybody would come and 10,000 people came. Now there are nearly a hundred thousand people each year. Before Riverbend, there was a much smaller festival in town called Five Nights in Chattanooga. Shortly after was the birth of Riverbend, and years later, Chattanooga's 21st century waterfront. The folks started looking forward to coming back to the Riverbend area, then the aquarium opened up, and that certainly helped bring a lot of growth and enthusiasm back to the downtown area. Janine says the venue for the festival is much larger now. The year she was chair of the festival was the first year the Coke stage was in the River. Very innovative to have a stage out in the river and performers have been awed by that since that time. They, they've never experienced being on a barge. Sometimes it bothers them with a the disconnect to the audience. And longtime volunteer Bill Tittle says over the years the festival has evolved beyond the performances. I think uh, through the years that's changed. Uh, a lot of younger people go. It's a place to see and be seen.